Thursday morning. It will then fall below. you just heard will automatically activate special receivers to warn of an impending hazard. Normally, this test is conducted each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon. However, this week it is being conducted on Tuesday in recognition of severe weather preparedness week and to coincide with the testing of outdoor warning sirens done by many communities in Illinois on the first Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. At this time, Take a moment to practice your severe weather emergency sheltering plan. At the very least, answer this question. Where would I take shelter if a tornado were approaching Maine right now? The best shelters are in a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of the building, away from windows and exterior doors. It is important to have multiple ways to receive hazardous weather information. Having a battery backup weather alert radio is one of the best ways. We now return to our regular programming. The flood warning. For Friday, mostly cloudy. Highs around.
This is a Tessa NOAA the radio's warning alarm system. The attention signals you just heard will automatically activate special receivers to warn of impending hazard. Normally, this test is conducted each Wednesday between the hours of 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. However, this week it will be conducted on Tuesday in recognition of Severe Weather Preparedness Week in Illinois and to coincide with the testing of outdoor warning sirens sent by many communities in Illinois on the first Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. At this time, take a moment to practice your Severe Weather Emergency Sheltering Plan. At the very least, answer this question. Where would I take shelter if a tornado were approaching me right now? The best shelters are in a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of the building away from windows and exterior doorways. It is important to have multiple ways to receive hazardous weather information. Having a battery backup weather alert radio is one of the best ways. We now return to our regular programming. Mostly sunny, high in the lower 60s, southwest wind 5 to 10 miles. This is a test of NOAA weather radio's warning alarm systems. The attention signals you just heard will automatically activate special receivers to warn of the impending hazard. This test is being conducted today in recognition of Severe Weather Preparedness Week in Illinois and to coincide with the testing of outdoor warning sirens done by many communities in Illinois on the first Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. At this time, we encourage you to take a moment to practice your Severe Weather Emergency Sheltering Plan. The best shelters are in a basement or in an interior room on the lowest floor of the building, away from windows and exterior doors. It is important to have multiple ways to receive hazardous weather information. Having a battery backup weather alert radio is one of the best ways. This has been a test of NOAA Weather Radio's warning alarm systems in recognition of Severe Weather Preparedness Week in Illinois. We now return to regular programming. Now, your National Weather Service forecast for the Guam cities and surrounding areas. Tuesday, partly sunny. Service in Paducah has issued a test message for the Kentucky statewide tornado drill. This includes all counties in Kentucky and is valid until 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is a test message. Repeating, this is a test message for the Kentucky statewide tornado drill. There is no severe weather occurring at this time. This test message is part of the annual Kentucky tornado drill. If this was an actual severe weather event, a specific severe weather product would be issued with information about the hazard. The National Weather Service, the Kentucky Emergency Management Agency and the Kentucky Weather Preparedness Committee encourage the use of this time to activate and review your severe weather safety plans. Repeating, this has been a test tornado warning message for the 2022 Kentucky Tornado Drill. This concludes this test. Test. Monday night, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of rain showers. Lows in the mid 30s. Service in Paducah has issued a test message for the Kentucky statewide tornado drill. This includes all counties in Kentucky and is valid until 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is a test message. Repeating, this is a test message for the Kentucky statewide tornado drill. There is no severe weather occurring at this time. This test
test message is part of the annual Kentucky tornado drill. If this was an actual severe weather event, a specific severe weather product would be issued with information about the hazard. The National Weather Service, the Kentucky Emergency Management Agency and the Kentucky Weather Preparedness Committee encourage the use of this time to activate and review your severe weather safety plans. Repeating, this has been a test tornado warning message for the 2022 Kentucky Tornado Drill. This concludes this test. Mid 50s. Chance of rain 90%. Monday night. Mo this is a test. Repeat. This is a test tornado warning. There is no severe weather occurring at this time. This test warning is part of the annual Kentucky tornado drill. If this was an actual severe weather event, you would be given information about the hazard. The National Weather Service, the Kentucky Division of Emergency Management, and the Kentucky Weather Preparedness Committee encourage the use of this time to activate and review your severe weather safety plans. Think about where you would go and what you would do in the event of an actual tornado. Repeating, this has been a test tornado warning for the 2022 Kentucky Tornado Drill. This concludes the test. We now resume our normal programming. And now the extended forecast.